I can do something really, then I don't have to worry about it. If I think I can't do something about something that is happening to me in real sense, then actually it should be I should stop worrying about it at all. Because either ways I can't do anything. It is beyond my control. It's beyond my control. It's something somebody is controlling. In case it's a human, then I'll fight back. But in case there is something beyond my comprehension and something is happening to me, and uh, and I can't do anything about it, then I will actually start, you know, experiencing that wholeheartedly, and to see where I'm going, and then you know, uh, maybe I'll start living with it, and slowly, uh, as you say, pole pole, I'll uh, start enjoying it. Maybe some people enjoy pain. Some people enjoy pain. Or after a period, it doesn't pain them anymore. It's it's like yeah, they're used to it and becomes normal. Like some people hit their children every day, and over a period, that that guy doesn't he acts as if he's you know he acts as if you know he's getting hit badly and he's still experiencing the pain. The pain is gone. Some mentally it is gone, and physically also it is gone after a period. And then he just you know pretends as if you know something is paining so that the dad doesn't hit more or the mom doesn't hit more. So similarly, if somebody paints, uh, somebody tries to cause more pain and more pain and more pain, the moment you start reacting, and they will actually enjoy you being pained, and the, the degree of uh, torture increases. Even in the witchcraft also, you actually stop rea- reacting over a point, uh, though inside you are dying, but outside you are not reacting to it, and then you know they try. They try, they try, they try, and over a period, they, they, they you know, they, they usually say there are three attempts to it. They do have uh, three attempts usually. They can't go beyond three attempts. So the first attempt, they try whether you succumb to it. Second attempt, they try to bring all uh, you know things down. And third attempt, they'll give a final push. And in case you can survive, after that, they can't do anything. Yeah. Uh, sorcery, magic, what kind of it? It's another kind of craft. Kind of craft. Yes. You know, you gain expertise mm-hmm. of, uh, you know, when you practice something with your heart and mind and, you know, follow all the principles, be it good or bad. Be it good or bad. When you put your heart, your soul, your practice, your dedication, undivided attention, and your, in business terms, uh, key point of detail, and your focus is undivided, and you master the craft. So, so do you, is there a place like you draw a line between, uh, okay, let's talk about a miracle and witchcraft. Is miracle also like a couple of witchcraft? What you're talking is uh, two different things. From what I understand is miracles just happen. That's the reason it's called a miracle. Unexpected, unforeseen, unplanned. Something out of the blue happens and that's what we call as a miracle. (laughs) Yes. And, you know, maybe the wizards and, you know, something, people with the magic wand, they come and do something, maybe that is magic. But that's magic. And, And they too practice. Magic is again practice, right? Whether white magic or black magic, doesn't matter. But magic is magic. Either you use it for good purpose or for bad purpose. Maybe black magic is used for, uh, you know, bad purposes. <coughs> but, but again, miracle is something which nobody expects and just... The, when, when it is the least expected and the thing happens in a situation, then, you know, like... You see people, countries winning, you know, in, especially in sports. The sportsman just wins by a whisker. Yeah, but, but that is, you know, people who hit the, you know, uh, the finishing line, maybe just by, a, you know, maybe, maybe by a millisecond or nanosecond or whatever. That is not a miracle, but a person who's, you know, last and least expected, and he didn't even, you know, qualify uh, previously and suddenly it goes out and wins and you know that is unforeseen and untold 
and that is a miracle which nobody expects but whereas what we are talking about is a craft it's a craft like you have your you know uh, say uh, there are 64 crafts in case you know according uh, to you know the studies in india there are 64 crafts so even stealing is a craft theft is a craft okay and designing is a craft pottery is a craft you know like we have 64 different crafts yeah and unrecognized ones huh? so but which craft you are talking i'm not just comparing but which craft is something else meant for another purpose but how you perceive it as you know it it's a sign for somebody and it's uh, uh, then what you say stupidity for somebody and illogical for somebody yeah and uh, the very name scares somebody yeah so either you are too scared or either you have experienced something which is uh, beyond your uh, capacity of understanding then you know you would be in a situation where you can't explain others what you're going through maybe if you go to a psychiatrist he would treat you in a different way if you go to a uh, the the, the uh, what you call there is a proper word beyond uh, this uh, there is a new science where they actually facilitate rather than you know uh, doing medication uh, uh, treating people they they actually facilitate uh, some some word i just forgot uh, but, but you know these are all things sometimes which is which are beyond science uh, science and uh, sometimes which are beyond comprehension right uh, but yes personally uh, yeah please so personally uh, are you been a victim of uh, one of those like which See, again i i don't know whether to use the word victim uh, but you know i have experienced that so you know i don't know whether i've been victimized or it was another gift uh, which i i i got to experience something very unnatural and i didn't find uh, no i mean it, it was a different kind of experience so while you were going through it's like uh, watching a horror movie and uh, maybe you, you are experiencing the you know the 3d effect when you effect when you see and you know that uh, though it is not uh, affecting you directly but you get involved and when the movie is very good and uh, the character is actually touching you yeah yes so here from my side at that point i didn't have any idea as to what i'm going through and uh, maybe the physical condition or maybe is it uh, uh i wasn't well or maybe i had this hallucinations or uh, maybe some nervous disorder or uh, too many things that were you know going on in my mind but then i i was like very scared and i was uh, in fact uh, i had these inhibitions if i have to talk to somebody about my experiences the learned ones or the the layman how would they react and uh, Oh, indirectly i try to talk a few things but people laugh at it and uh, it like yes it was serious to me and people just laugh it away yes for them it is like another movie or stupid story and you are trying to cook something or you are trying to escape from certain situations or things uh, but no it, it doesn't uh, happen that way so having said that yeah you overcome uh, many th- too many things and uh, this is also this was also a part of uh, a certain period of my life and the, they were continuous episodes previously like you know i had to depend on alcohol i had to depend on uh, say i i never took any medication uh, but you know i didn't believe you know medication can actually uh, yeah heal you and uh, Yeah, but uh, in india there are many people uh, at least i would say who practice not witchcraft uh, there's not uh, witchcraft is not the right word but you know there are people whom i have interacted with they even call the spirits they in, they invite the spirits they invite the spirits and they do it for uh, good things and bad things they do it for predictions 
like uh, they can uh, it's like suit saying they uh, tell about your future uh, they tell about your past they'll tell about your past life they'll tell about few generations of your uh, you know history then except for death except for death they can't pre- they can't tell, they can't, uh, tell the exact time but they'll say they'll be very close to it that you will die very soon maybe not the exact time but, but yeah and, and they are they are very 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 accurate uh, so if uh, they were they can also predict like who is going to win the world cup or something so like a no that's uh, entirely we are uh, deviating from the topic because the predictions are endless there you know there are they can tell on which day it will rain or which month it will uh, the rain is uh, i mean you have heavy rains or maybe you face famine and drought and they'll also predict uh, you know you'll have uh, diseases like plague cholera whatever chicken pox whatever and and they are very very accurate very accurate yeah and they'll tell who will come into power and who will lose power and how many years they'll be in the government they all do that but you know it's it's up to their belief but yes there are many popular things in india very mystical i would use the right way yeah mystical would be the uh, right way and uh, while you call this witchcraft a very diabolical but there are other mystical things as well where you know they they uh, they do the oracle they do the oracle by standing on a uh, wet pot freshly made pot which is uh, shaped but not yet burnt yeah so they, they yeah just the model they they stand on that and they do the prediction which we call it the oracle they do that so we have different things so you know whether to believe or not to believe maybe depends on your background your education your social say uh, i would say your participation in social activities or your religious activities or you're too much into internet and too much into social media listening into uh, yeah you know so it, it is triggered by something else which is a third party imagination induced into your you know head uh, you, you lose your own uh, thinking and uh, you lose your uh, uh, what you say due diligence and then you can't decide for yourself whether it is really happening or not and like so for you like, how did you realize that, that this is not like the usual me so you come to your again there are like you have your 8 plus 4 plus 4 education in your formal uh, you know kenyan uh, syllabus uh, but then even with craft there are various degrees there is say you know the unofficial uh, uh, systems of their practice they graduate to certain level they practice on something they practice on something they have various other things like you know they have for example there are courses to be uh more precise some people practice on your mental uh, affecting you mentally some people practice on affecting you physically and mentally and uh, i mean there are there are there, there are many things your thought process your uh, there are people who control your tongue Yes I mean you're speaking but it's actually not you you're saying something which 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 uh, what you say uh if someone close to me hears you you say it's not someone close to me hears it's example you are in a meeting and uh, he makes you say something which you are not prepared for or which is not your line you you actually say something which is not yours at all and 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 you ask after a few minutes you won't remember what you talked and you uh, you can't comprehend as to why you spoke that and neither it is in your thought process or neither it is in your delivery you just speak something you just speak it so maybe you can and like in front of you. usually that is what happens that is the main purpose of that uh, this they usually do it when you're signing deals and uh, you know it's on a negotiation table they actually uh, do it so that you know the opposite person compromises he says something which is not uh, the plan for 
and he's not committed to that but you know he commits something on that platform and he ha- yeah so you can end up like now really just like uh, large protest just usually it is it, it happens a lot in india and also a few other countries muslim countries also so for you uh, when did you treat like an extreme point that you decided now i should go like it for help from somebody So this is a very strange question uh, in in case you ask uh, in this context but i can uh, give you a relative answer uh, in another context so you you know doctors measure blood pressure the bp or sugar or diabetes whatever you know there is a certain standard a threshold right so you know below par and above par whatever for example you bp uh, blood pressure you take it is you know below 80 is like low bp and above 140 is like you know, very high bp right so you know that is uh, the usual cut off but in case you take average across the population maybe that is but there are people who live with 180 bp very normally 180 is high and people uh, doctor says you are about to die this that and then you know they prescribe lot of uh, blood pressure control medicines and similarly for diabetes but there are people who also have 200 as uh, the diabetic count but still they are very healthy and very normal so again even in this case what i'm saying is there are people who don't use medicines even you know for your blood sugar or for your uh, diabetes even though they have crossed the regular threshold level similarly this thing is again very personal based on the mental health based on this wit courage and the great whatever you call it and those people say come what may let me experience it's a new kind of experience for me you know what others are not uh, you know gifted i am gifted and i'm actually experiencing something very different and then at that point maybe you know for, for example like a school kid if you studies in standard 4th or standard 5th at that time or maybe stand maybe is eighth standard or is public exam you know when he is at that age and then he is preparing for that exam then you know the kind of uh, say a difficulty he goes through in mugging up or understanding it or you know reproducing that at that point but maybe after few years when he is very mature and when his education standard has gone and his grasping ability has gone far then you feel ha ah, this i can and maybe read it in a week and then you know yeah so this again you know when when different people cope up with different things and your thought process how your thought process is and have you uh, take it as it comes right and and secondly in case if it is affecting you the effect is very different but in case it is affecting your loved ones uh, or your family or your close family or your friends or then you know then it it's like you're definitely losing control because you can't control uh, your emotions when the your loved ones face that you can to an extent but yes that happens this usually you can see when the child is hurt the father cries inside and the mother cries outside right but the kid cries very loud but after a period once the pain subsides you give a candy or something the kid is yeah but the father carries the pain for a long time and he he thinks that shouldn't have happened in the first place i didn't take care the mother hits the kid usually and says why did you do that that's the fear factor she carries right and when people treat things differently and the kid again goes to the same again he tries to climb the same tree even though he knows that he'll fall again but that 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 childhood and that god god has gifted him with uh, that fearlessness and all that right so when you fear that you lose nothing there's nothing to fear at all so this might take what you think yeah okay but you know personally uh, do you like do you can do you remember like uh, maybe the thoughts that you used to have at that moment or were you feeling like uh, see there are two or three kinds of things at least uh, for my personal knowledge one is you physically feel the weakness or you know you feel all the pains and you know unexplainable pains you you, you can't you know uh, it can't be diagnosed diagnosed so you go to the doctor he checks whatever has to be uh, the checks 
he checks that but he doesn't find anything you know uh, different or you know anything low or high he found, finds everything normal so for you like your feeling your being past or something it's not about being past it, it usually in dreams you know when you physically are there is different when you're awake is different maybe you're gloomy and you know you're tired you don't know you, you can't think about anything you 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 know try to run away you try to you can't uh, sit in an office you always you have that factor the moment you go you have that fear factor that i have to run away from here i have to run away from here and uh, that happens and uh, then again in dreams yes there's a second episode and then that is the next level then you get into your dreams you are like ha ah, you don't know how how you can sleep that day how you can wake up in the next morning like you feel so suffocated suffocated is one word then you feel like you're being exploited you've been sexually enjoyed and uh, in the dreams by bs and like i told you like you know you go through very 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 uh, abusive things uh, in your dreams like you you are uh, i would say subjected to uh, things which in a normal world or in a Uh, uh civil society you, you can't even talk about what you're going through right how your things get punctured and how your teeth get twisted and your like eyes are popped out and your tongue is like uh, some 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 something which we talk then it's like ah it's a, he was lot of uh, you know horror movies or you know such things exorcism movies and all but but to sum up i would say exorcism really exists but uh, you have to go through to understand that yeah and uh, yes i can only say my personal experience i could uh, smell in my dreams i could smell uh, different uh, things uh, i don't want to name it but yes and i could i'm in my dream yeah or say uh, uh, you say uh, maybe hallucination or maybe whatever but you know while i was asleep and my senses were in normal sense my senses also slept right then i i could feel the touch then i could feel the taste and i could even smell and physically somebody is you know enjoying you and you could actually feel that touch also and that is real so like how was your like so that means your night all for your most of your night you couldn't sleep yeah that's what i said but but for me it it's like i close my eyes i was in a different world different world in sense like you know different senses like and over a period then i thought i can't sleep anymore i need to have a sedative and i said i don't believe in using you know all the tablets and all that and especially not this uh, what you call uh, uh, the the modern medicine okay the allopathy the allopathic medicine I, i i i don't believe in so I couldn't go to an Ayurvedic doctor or a homeopathic doctor to get powder which works as a you know mild sedative because I couldn't explain my situation so then you know the easiest way I had access was to alcohol and then it's not like the, the, the theory of the theory of alcohol is a very scientifically uh, uh, say proved one you know you take a little quantity it has some effect you go little further it will numb your nerves then your tongue then you can't experience the taste after you eat something you can't tell which brand you had you know after that the, the continuous brands and you can't taste which brand taste which way and you know there there are different levels of uh, you know uh, effects of alcohol so what you take how much you take at what time you take whether you take it at empty stomach or or and whether you are like deep in something and maybe maybe the body is there the 
the mind says enough but the body says no i can take more or the body says no i can't take but the mind says no 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 today today you are not i am not listening to you please so you i need to do some extra work sir in you yeah i mean you know alcohol brings a lot of uh, say inhibitions out people you know uh, become more extrovert people lose many uh, that uh, what to say inhibitions is the right word people come up with their full uh, uh, say they express themselves fully sometimes and uh, many hidden things come out they went their frustration they love their anger i mean there is a different state and sometimes you experience bliss like you're flying you're flying you're yes, flying you're not worried about anything you're just flying you're, you're just even at times i is still you know those are certain things which i still experience but not as a regular episodes but yes but like you you are taking a long uh, hop from here to the other side of the road and it's like ah just and sometimes you're just floating like you know you see in the movies like and people are just walking not in the space you're just about the ground to an extent but you're like your feet is not touching and you you're, you're further going it's like the long jumper is like another extra few inches he puts in that effort it it's like that it it takes you to glory like ha i'm i'm, I'm flying and like i'm taking such a long leap so it it may yeah so maybe that's again a state of mind where uh, you're feeling that you're being uh, you know uh, say tightened or you're being uh, say you're not being let loose and and you actually want to come out of something and maybe deep inside somewhere i feel that i'm 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 like jailed or something and i wanted to come out of that you know maybe this is a kind of subconscious expression that i'm trying to learn uh, through like yes i'm flying so you know maybe something positive so now after going through all that uh, now what i feel is uh, yeah everything has its own face uh, have you you know stand up at that point and have you take things and then maybe once that period is over then you have very good memories about and it it actually works opposite in case you can you know come through uh, those things and like now you know if such things happen ha huh, okay maybe i have may, so you uh, so that you have also like this work fully at the time now see at that point uh, i chose to be alcoholic because i I was trying to escape i was trying to escape the real time situation which i'm facing through because one is i cannot explain to anybody as to what i'm going through and uh, second is because of my social situation my family background and uh, what people perceive about my family and me and uh, and like when you're forced against the wall you have to react some people react in a different way and some people react in 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 normal situations people take time to react in a planned way they have plan a plan b plan c in place but the life gives you a situation where like you feel survival is the biggest plan and there is no plan a plan b or c to it yeah you, you face such uh, tough situations where only survival is your uh, motto then you know whether you drink alcohol whether you drink something it doesn't matter as long as you are able to survive for a few days and you buy time to come out of it right so this is what i i i i would say but but yes there are very many people who read a lot and uh, i have uh, physically seen certain situations back in india uh, where i stay like uh, it is uh, some people maybe because of the education background or maybe because of the social background they never or because of the fear they cannot express what they are going through and they are subjected to many bad things in the name of driving away that uh, you know ill effects and people are hit and people are whipped people are chained and uh, people are uh, tormented and you know people are like 
Many, many sorts of anti-exorcism practices, but actually it is very cruel than compared to exorcism. So finally, uh, like, what, uh, how did you come out of this, like, break from all those animations and... Uh, well, uh, no, well, I would only like to say, uh, well, because, see, this is not a course and this is not something you have learnt and then, you know, you have graduated to a next level and all that. But yes, you know, there was a time where I was very, uh, maybe because of my uh, other situations also, and uh, too much happened in too little time and uh, I couldn't cope. Then, you know, when I had time for myself, you know, then I, I wouldn't uh, recommend this. I, I wouldn't advocate that also. I wouldn't advocate this also, but, but I would say, you know, you need to find solace in something. You need to find uh, happiness in something or you need to find comfort in something. So that you, though you are experiencing, experiencing this, but still you have some uh, leverage where you can, you know, think beyond that and then, you know, slowly, you know, this reduces a bit and, you know, the other activity improves a bit. And then, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say uh, to practice this or that, but again, wherever you find comfort, try to spend time there and slowly this effect, either you uh, get used to it or you win over it. Right now I see those dreams, now I am very confident nothing will happen, it is just a passing phase. Right? And in case I, I think uh, I have reduced the alcohol a lot, dependency on alcohol a lot. Uh, now if, if I can't sleep, I would read something. Yeah, and just to, you know, eyes feel tired and then you sleep and you know, automatically you sleep. If you watch TV for a long time, maybe, you know, you can't, but in case you read something, then, you know, your eyes get tired and after a few minutes or maybe on the personal capacity, then you actually lie down and automatically you go into sleep. Yeah. Uh, that's a very interesting story. So finally, like, uh, do you have, like, something like to believe in? Maybe something to pray that maybe, like, because in such situations, I see, yeah, because something happened to me that doesn't uh, necessarily mean that I have to believe in something. From childhood I have been believing in something which is unknown to us. Unknown to us, yes there is something supernatural. When I can't see air but I can only breathe, I can see the air follicles. But I can't see air. Right, but still, when you are actually weak, when you are actually weak, and uh, when you are low on your uh, uh, energy and you didn't eat for maybe two or three days or maybe your blood pressure has gone down, when you actually close your eyes and suddenly turn somewhere, you see some white, white things like something glowing and you can actually see something twinkling like stars. You will experience one day, right? And, and in the childhood, I mean, you know, I was like, Wow, I have attained something divine or something very supernatural and I am able to see all the things shining and you know, I can see air, like you know different, uh, I, I don't know how to describe air, but you know I can see some small, small uh, things and then to my surprise I later realized that <laughs> that is because you see some things when uh, you are not normal, yeah then that was uh, a face. Uh, like that. So, uh, let me just